Hello everyone! I have finally moved from the Nexus One to the HTC One. I've been using this device for about almost two weeks and it's a great device. Today I've got uh, the update for Android 4.2.2. I still didn't update, I want to do it now just in front of the camera because I never did an OTA update. This is the first time I have an OTA update. Uh, on the Nexus One I almost always used uh, custom ROM so I never knew what is an OTA update. Let's check it out. So here is it. I will press install and let's see what will happen. Okay, it's downloading it now. Let's hope it won't ruin anything. Okay, it has to restart. Let's do that. As you can see, this is a Vodafone version. It's a Vodafone Germany version. And I'm not in Germany, but this this is the device that I've got. I must say the device is very, very good. I really like it. And it's a very good advantage after uh, about three and a half years with the Nexus One, which I really loved as well. Well, it seems up. Seems pretty much the same, at least uh, on the lock screen. Let's uh, go to the settings and check if it was updated. Okay, it wasn't updated yet. That's strange. Let's try to do it again. Oh, I think I know what happened. It updated the firmware first. Now it will probably update the Android itself. Yep, the other uh, update was just the firmware. It's the probably the radio of the HTC. I'm not sure I never did such an update. Well, now it seems that it'll, it will take time, so I'll just pause the video and we will continue after it finish. Okay, I'm back. It's almost downloaded. Well, here it will finish now. And we will check how it's going on. Okay, here it is. Okay. Oh! Verifying update package. Well, it will probably take some time. I don't know. It took about 40 minutes to download it here. But I guess it just connected straight through Germany to Vodafone or something and downloaded it from their servers or something. Okay, here it is. Software update. Great. Well, um, I won't tell you all the features, I think uh, everyone already know it. Let's just choose install now, which already chosen by default, and press OK. And hope for the best. OK, it seems it restarts in again. Well, it's not an iPhone, so even if there will be a mistake and it will get uh, to be a brick somehow, I will be able to fix it somehow. Now, I haven't root rooted this device yet and didn't unlock the bootloader or did anything like that, but I will probably do it later, because I really like the stock Android. So, maybe later I'll do some other videos which will show how uh, to unlock the bootloader, to root it, and install custom ROMs. 
Well, it seems it's doing some restarts again and again. After updating. And another update. Now remember that if you update uh, so you should have at least about 75% of your battery or at least connected to a charger because it takes time and it probably will take lots of battery although the battery here holds really great so I think even on 50% or even less it will hold on but this is the suggestion okay it almost finished I didn't think it will take so much long it took me really faster on the Nexus 1 to install a custom ROM but I guess this one, this update was about 430 megabytes and on Nexus 1 I had the updates which were less than 200 megabytes okay now it seems to be resetting again I hope it won't do it so much long again And another restart? Gosh, that takes time. Another one? Well guys, <laughs> don't do it if you're in a hurry, because it shuts your cell phone for about an hour, I think. Well, at least this line seems to be faster. Okay, much faster. I hope this, this was the last one. By the, by the way, I hope I won't lose any data. I never done such an update through OTA updates. And with custom ROMs, I always had to do a titanium backup and then restore. And this is how it worked. That's funny, the line finished, but seems like it's stuck on the end. Okay, another restart. Will it be the last one? That one seems better. Okay, maybe not. Well, it really takes some long time. And another restart. That's amazing. Did about, I don't know, about seven times restarts. And it took me, for this whole time that I had this phone for about almost two weeks, I did only one restart. So that's really funny. Okay, now it seems to boot up. Well, sounds so. That's a long boot up. It doesn't boot up that much long on the other boots up. Okay, it does some updates to the software probably. Just some finish lines probably. I have uh, pretty much software installed on it, so it will probably take some time. Okay, I'll pause the video again just so I can 
replace the battery of the camera because it will die soon. Okay, now it seems to finish update. Seems up, running. Let's check it out. Oh, it didn't finish to boot yet. Oh, it takes some time. Okay, let's try to enter the settings and see what we've got. Oh, yeah, it's 4.2.2 for sure. This is the quick settings mode. Let's enter to the settings. That's it, 4.2.2. Well, I won't do any review because I think there are enough reviews. I just never seen anyone doing the process of the update itself on a video so I thought why shouldn't I do it and it took some time so don't do it if you are in a hurry and please don't enable the captions because the last time you could laugh at me very much it was funny enough I think